Hello and welcome to this higher tier GCSE lesson on cones. Firstly, complete this do now task about the volume of pyramids. Pause the video while you work through these. Okay, the answers then. The first one is 30 centimetres cubed. And the second one, we're working at the height. So we substitute what we know and then solve the equation and we get x equals 7 centimetres. So today's lesson we're going to be looking at cones. We're going to be able to calculate the volume and the surface area and then apply these skills to problem solving questions. So the first thing we can think of a cone is as a pyramid with a circular base. So this was the formula we looked at last time for the volume of a pyramid. Now if the base is a circle, we can simplify this. The base area is going to be pi r squared. So if specifically for cones, the volume is one third pi r squared h. So make sure that is copied into your exercise books. So let's look at an example. So we're going to calculate the volume of this cone and we're going to give our answer in terms of pi. So we're going to copy down this example into your books. So you can see here we've got the formula and then we substituted what we know. So we've got a third times pi. We know the radius is 6, so 6 squared is 36, and then times by the height, which is 8. And then we can simplify that to 96 pi centimetres squared. And that is the final answer, since we were told to give our answer in terms of pi. So you'll notice at this point we've not used the value of 10. So we don't need that slant height when we are calculating the volume. So let's have a go at these questions. Um, we'll show you working and pause the video while you work through them. All right, let's check answers. Question A is 3,560 centimetres cubed. Notice you are asked to give the answers all to three significant figures. B is 314 centimetres cubed. And C, 1,020 centimetres cubed. Question two, we're asked to find the mass of the cone. So the first thing would be to find the volume and then use the formula for mass density and volume to get the mass. And therefore we have got 935 grams. The next thing to do is have a look at the surface area. So a cone is made up of a circle on the base and the curved part. And this is the formula. So the pi r l is for the curved surface, the l being the slanted height. So make sure you've got this formula written into your exercise books. Let's look at an example then. So this is the same cone we had in the previous example, but we are now looking at surface area. So make sure you've got this copied. So this time we do need the value of the slanted height and we don't need the perpendicular height. So the pi r l, so we've got pi times 6 times 10 and we're going to add pi times 6 squared, so pi times 36. That simplifies to 96 pi centimetres squared. Okay, let's have a go at these questions then. Make sure you show all of your working. Pause the video while you work through these. Okay, let's mark them. Question A is 1,430 centimetres squared. B, 283 centimetres squared. And C, 679 centimetres squared. And the last question is 24 pi centimetres squared. Do you remember that this is area, so your units are going to be squared units? Here are a couple of compound shapes, so let's have a go at working out the volume of these two shapes. Pause the video while you work through it. Okay, question 4a. We're going to have 816 pi centimetres cubed, and b, 720 pi millimetres cubed. A problem solving question for you. So you've got a compound shape, but you need to work out the density. So make sure you show all your work and, and pause the video while you do this question. OK, 
Okay, let's check the answer then. So we should have 7.2 grams per centimetres cubed. So you're going to do the mass divided by the total volume there. Okay, some more problem solving questions. Pause the video while you work through these. Okay, so let's check these ones. So for question six, you have got a sector. So you'll have to remember back to the lesson on the length of an arc. So the length of the arc there, if we were to fold this up, would become the circumference of the cone. And we end up with a diameter of that cone being four centimetres. So if the angle is changed to 180 degrees, we'll end up with six centimetres for the diameter. And for this part C, you could have several answers. So, for example, 60 degrees would give you 2 centimetres, 240 degrees would give you 8 centimetres. You may notice a pattern there. And there are several other answers. So, question 7. Well done if you got this. So, we've got the slant height of the cone is equal to the base diameter and show that the area of the curved surface is twice the area of the base. Well, since the base is a circle, Let's look at this in terms of the radius, because we know the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if we use r to represent the radius, the diameter is 2r. The slant height is equal to the diameter, so the slant height is also 2r. And the area of the curved surface, that was pi r l. So pi r times the slant height, pi r times 2r, which gives us 2, r, sorry, 2 pi r squared, which is double the area of a circle. Okay, another two problem solving questions for you. Again, pause the video while you work through these. Okay, question nine. Let's check this one. So the first thing you needed to do was work out the volume of that cone. You then have a cylinder with the same volume and a radius of 15 and you need to work out the height when you know the volume and the radius. And you get 2.81 centimetres. Question 10 is another brief introduction to a frustum, like we saw at the end of the pyramids lesson. You're given all the information you need, so you don't need any specialist knowledge on frustums just yet. So you need to work out the area of the original cone, and then you need to work out the area of the little cone that's been chopped off, and subtract it. And you end up with 252 pi centimetres squared. As I mentioned in the pyramids lesson, there will be a challenge topic lesson on frustums in much more detail for you to have a look at. Okay, so we have successfully looked at the volume of a cone, the surface area, and looked at some problem solving questions. So one final question to finish you off. Pause the video while you work through this. Okay, so here's the working. We've got the total surface area we know is pi r l plus pi r squared. So if we substitute in what we are given, pi times 3 times l plus pi times 3 squared, we know that is given as 24 pi. So we know what the total surface area is. If we simplify that first part, we get 3l plus 9 in brackets multiplied by pi. So that means we can simplify this. We've got 3L plus 9 is 24. Subtracting the 9 and then divide by 3. So we can't use that 5 and substitute it in to get an answer of 24 pi. We have to use working to end with the answer of 5 centimetres. Okay, that is it for today. Well done. Make sure if you're up for the challenge, you check out the challenge lesson on frustums. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.